to see you back here at Phillip Island for the first time in eight years. A bit of a difficult morning for everybody with drops of rain in all sectors and then drying up and then drops of rain again. How did it go for you? Yeah, really positive, really productive morning. Um, of course, uh, you know, we wanted as much time on track as we can, you know, for us being a, a new team into the paddock again with a, with a new machine. Um, you know, every moment on track is valuable to, to gather momentum and learn more about the bike and get better set up and stuff. So um, there's a couple of times when the rain dropped, I was even still uh, going out and doing a few things just to do some mechanical checks for the guys in the team to make sure all the sensors were dialed in and all working correctly. And, uh, and then as soon as the track was dry again, we'll back out as soon as we could to, to do more laps. So it's been a really positive morning. Um, we've learned lots about the, the bike on this circuit. And uh, you know, obviously, that's very uh, important for what we've got coming up this weekend. Were those drops of rain actually affecting the track that much, or is it more that psychological drops on the sort of thing? Um, no, they were quite uh, big, solid raindrops. So even though there was only a few drops, it quickly affected the, the track condition. So it was very difficult to um, you know ride at any high speed when when it was actually just raining a little bit. But uh, with it being quite warm today and there being a bit of a breeze. Uh, as soon as the rain stopped, we could almost go back to full speed straight away. And as we were saying just before, there's been a few riders who've had incidents, your teammate Carol Abraham, yeah. uh, Alex DeAngelis, luckily they're both okay I believe, but it just proves you need to keep it on the island, I know it sounds a bit obvious, but there's no point losing track time. It's yeah, it's a catch-22, you know, obviously you've got to ride fast to check the bike um, at a fast speed, but, you know, you risk a lot the faster you go, so uh, it's very difficult to draw the line of where it is, but yeah, the emphasis is on how important it is to be on track and getting many laps. You know, even if you're a little bit off with the lap time, it's almost better to, especially at these early days in the in the week, um, get that valuable track time and start to um, build a, a, a progression that's heading towards uh, a good race setup. What's the plan for the afternoon now, Josh? Um, we've got a, a good idea of, of what we want to change. Um, now I've got a good gap of time where the guys can strip the bike down, make uh, major changes, and uh, we'll come back this afternoon and see if those uh, changes from what we've learned this morning actually transfer into better lap times. And uh, then we'll, we'll all be happy and, and moving on. Okay, have a good afternoon. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.